Hello everyone, welcome to Movie Review UK and my favourite movies of 2016. I've looked at all the films that I watched this year and I've managed to whittle the list down to seven. I wanted to get a top five, then I could call it top five films of 2016. And it'd have great searchability and look good, but I, I just couldn't do it guys. I can't betray my own opinion, you know? So I've gone with top seven. At number seven it is The Big Short. Absolutely incredible cast taking a really interesting thing that happened in world world economics or economics finance the financial world and you insert people in there like Steve Carell and Ryan Gosling and not to mention Christian Bell you know the the cast is tremendous in this movie and you've got little actors that pop up in it as well that that add to it and you're like oh it's them like Ray Spell is the person I'm specifically thinking of there. But the actual situations and everything that happened is a really exciting, really intriguing subject matter. It's thrilling, but in it almost a masochistic way, a sadistic way. And I like the way that it explains things to you as well. And of course you've got Margot Robbie in a bath. Yeah, really did enjoy this movie. I think it's tremendous. Watched it again on Netflix recently. And I, yeah, I just think it's a really great, entertaining movie about finance. I'm going to put the movie poster there. Next up is Hell or High Water. This is a really cool movie, oozes cool, the cast is, you know, mainly you've got Ben Foster, and well, you've got Ben Foster, you've got Chris Pine, and they're being chased, uh, or trying this cat and mouse thing, by Jeff Bridges. Incredible cast, and the movie is just a very, very solid heist western. So these guys are bank robbers, and their brothers, so you've got emotional drama, you've got family drama mixed in with some really good heist scenes and it's just a very solid, I suppose it's kind of like an action-y drama thriller heist movie, really great setting, nice direction and uh, superb characters, just uh, an app Sorry, my camera just ran out of battery hence the slight position change and me stopping mid-sentence there Hello High Water, tremendously solid film that combines a lot of different genres, awesome stuff. Next up is War Dogs, War Dogs was so great, it really surprised me as well. I was expecting an entertaining film and actually judging from the trailer and the fact that this is a movie that proudly displays its badge as it should, that is directed by Todd Phillips, I was expecting very much a uh, highly hilarious, um, kind of almost gross out movie similar to Road Trip, similar to The Hangover, and also it's got Jonah Hill in, so that the indicators were there. However, this is actually a much more deeper and interesting movie than maybe you would have the, the trailer, the things I have here, believe. Really amazing film, tells a really interesting story about arms dealers and how they get wrapped up in the darker, more seedy side of their own business. Miles Teller and Jonah Hill have a great partnership, great chemistry, and the, the characters themselves are really good and it's just a it is it's like a black comedy in places it doesn't have a lot of humor but the humor is there uh, what it does have is high tension drama uh, amazing scenes great dialogue totally solid film and i would highly highly recommend it next on my list is don't breathe the reason this is here is because it's a really interesting kind of horror thriller i don't think it's full on horror I think um, it's definitely a tense horror thriller. The actors in it are amazing. Jane Levy plays the leading woman. She is a strong, independent woman. She is brilliant. She holds the film down very well. And she is the person that we stay with most of the movie. And then you've got a great supporting cast like Logan Lerman. I think is a great young actor. And indeed, Stephen Lang is amazing in this as this. You, know, you fully believe that he is an ex-military guy. Um, even though he's blind, could totally fucking end you. And the thing that I loved about this movie more than anything is that the trailer, uh, trailers can be so revealing. When I first saw this trailer, I didn't know what it was at first, so I didn't close my eyes and I just watched the whole thing. Um, and I thought, oh man, I really hope that didn't ruin too much. It absolutely does not. I, in a lot of ways, it doesn't scratch the surface. There are some brilliant, brilliant story elements in this film, a lot of incredible scenes and uh, absolutely deserving of being up there as one of the most entertaining films of the year. My top three films are, uh, well the majority of which are superhero movies and indeed Marvel movies. I'm a massive Marvel fan, I make no, I don't hide it. People know that about me. 
So it's not surprising that number three on my list is Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange was a visual treat. I think it looked absolutely stunning. I think Benedict, Benedict, Benedict Cumberbatch was brilliant the casting of Doctor Strange. He had a lot of charisma and uh, another um, great cocksure kind of actor to have in the Marvel Universe and it'll be a really interesting personality and really interesting dynamic that we'll see between him and Tony Stark or the likes of him and Tony Stark and I'm just very excited to see how uh, this new side of the Marvel Universe, this colourful, vivid, bright, imaginative, magical side of the Marvel Universe fits into the rest of it. Uh, oh man, I just really like the film, really inventive choreography as well, uh, a visual and exciting, amazing, excellent action superhero treat. Number two is Arrival. I thought the Arrival was so good. The acting is brilliant. Great actors again. Amy Adams is brilliant in the movie. And it's, you know, there are things that you don't want to say about this film because you know, it could spoil it. But it has got some incredible ideas that it plays with. And it's not what you would expect. It's a movie where uh, well, where aliens have landed on the, the Earth in spaceships. We've seen that before, but what we haven't seen before is this very much drama, character-focused uh, film dealing with that and the, like, looking at it, like, analysing language, analysing behaviour, all that kind of thing is really, really interesting and I really enjoyed this great, unique movie. At number one on my list is Captain America Civil War. It brought together so many elements, so many characters from the Marvel Universe. It's a very unique position to have this cinematic universe that we have with Marvel. They've built it up over the course of the last nine years, bringing in so many different characters, so many different genres. You know, you look at Ant-Man and you've got a heist film. You look at Thor and you've got a almost a <laughs> period fantasy. Uh, you look at Iron Man, you've got a high-tech superhero film. Uh, you look at Captain America, you then, you then got a period um, superhero movie and then all the way that these characters interact because of course Captain America then moves into the modern day so you've got that whole, that whole thing to deal with, how he adjusts and just everything that was built up to this movie and then this movie delivered so much. I loved the storyline, it was hero versus hero and the choreography was amazing, absolutely incredible. You had these massive superhero battles and of course they introduced Spider-Man who played by Tom Holland was just absolutely brilliant and perfect. Really looking forward to the solo Spider-Man film later this year. But Civil War was hugely, hugely exciting on all levels. Thank you very much for watching my favourite or must-see films of the year 2016. I'll do the same next year, don't you worry. If you're new around here, please do subscribe. And I'd love to hear in the comments below what your favourite films of the year were, guys. Thanks again for watching and do subscribe for more.